It's a Northwest Lifestyle Weekend on Como News. IRG's Health Talk continues. All right, our next guest, Andrew Golden, Director of Marketing from Athlete Intelligence. You know, concussions are a big part of, uh, of the news today, Shannon, and uh, he's going to talk about the head impact monitoring system that they've come up with. Yeah, again, we just talked about robotic technology in the orthopedic world and the medical world. Here in the impact world, head contact world, sensors to monitor impacts. All right, Andrew Golden and Shannon O'Kelly. Andrew, welcome to Health Talk. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us. Tell us about uh, what you're doing and what your uh, function is. I mean, you've got some neat stuff going on with concussion, big stuff in the media. Concussions all over. We see it in the NFL. We see it in football, youth athletes. We also know that a lot of parents right now are actually kind of eliminating or not allowing their kids to participate in contact sports because of it. So a lot to talk about here. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. So the company I work for is called Athlete Intelligence, Uh and we are a head impact monitoring and performance tracking platform. Okay, hang hang, hang on, hang on. Let's talk about this real quick. uh, Let's let's describe that because that's something I think our listeners need to to, a head impact tracking form. Uh, Absolutely. So... We've developed a platform that uses sensors, which we've also created, and it allows us to take all of the data from a field, whether that's a game, whether that's a practice, and really collect all the head impacts that are occurring. We pull that into our platform, we analyze it, and we spit out these automated reports for coaches, for athletic trainers that really starts to break down what's happening during games and what's happening during practices. Are, are these sensors? I mean, how are you uh, sensing or recording the impacts? Yeah, so we've created two different types of sensors, which if you think about it, are just data collection devices. There's nothing special about them other than the data that they're collecting and how we interpret that. So we have a mouth guard version of the sensor. Uh, works like any other mouth guard, except it's a smart mouth guard. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got a helmet affix sensor, which just goes up inside the helmet or can clip onto a hairband for sports like women's lacrosse and women's soccer. So the sensors, I would imagine, are are set or calibrated to a certain level. And then when the impact occurs, it's recording the type of impact, the length of impact. Is that kind of pretty pretty accurate? Yeah, there's three main areas that we focus on, which really gives us actionable information. It's the location of an impact, the quantity of impacts, and then the severity of an impact. And we both have a way in post-game or post-practice to send these various reports or with some of the products that we have, it actually transmits in real time. So imagine an athlete takes a big impact and um, if that impact exceeds a preset threshold, that athletic trainer or athletic staff gets a notification on their Apple Watch that, hey, number 76 just took a big hit. You might want to check them out. Are they, I got a, I got, I have a ton of questions here. I mean, so let's talk because our listeners are probably thinking that a concussion or head injury has to be kind of a direct impact. I mean, just to dispel the rumors here, it can be a torsion injury. It can be an athlete that gets hit in the shoulder. Let's describe impact. What you define as impact? Yeah. So uh, to be honest, there's still a lot of unknown variables as to why people respond differently to concussions. I could take a 40 G impact and have a concussion. You're a big guy. You can take a 60 G impact and be fine. And so we aren't in a position or have a focus of really trying to replace decision-making. We're not trying to become a diagnostic tool. We're not a uh, identification tool. We're not a prevention tool. That's very difficult when you're talking about something like a head injury or a concussion because it's very symptoms based. Right. So what we do is we focus on, well, what are the drivers? Now we know impacts to the crown of the head are for one, in many cases, illegal contact and improper technique. So our ability to first highlight which athletes have the most amount of crown of head impacts it helps coaches identify where they need to train proper technique and correct behavior on where they can mitigate those impacts to the top of the head. We also know we want to limit impacts in total to to athletes. Um, If you think about a lot of the new techniques that coaches are teaching, whether it's rugby style tackling, heads up style football, the goal is really to replace the head from contact but no one knows how many impacts an athlete is taking. So we can provide that information and show which athletes might be overexposed to those impacts. More with Andrew Golden right after this time out on Como. 
It's a Northwest Lifestyle Weekend on Como News. Here's Tom Hutler and Shannon O'Kelly with more IRG Health Talk. Once again, we check in with Andrew Golden, Director of Marketing from Athlete Intelligence, Head Impact Monitoring. Here's Andrew and Shannon O'Kelly. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Athlete intelligence, my gosh, you got a lot going on. Fascinating stuff, putting sensors uh, in helmets and mouth guards to record impact. Let me ask you, uh, I'm, I'm curious, how where'd your interests come from? What's your background in this? Yeah, well, my background has really been just in business and in analytics. I worked for a e-commerce company prior to this. So we never saw our customers. We never <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, were able to ask them certain questions. We had to really rely on data to drive decision making. And so I think when you are able to pair your love for sports and with just data and analytics uh, and the need for what we really are doing, if we're trying to make contact and collision sports the safest they've ever been, um, it's not just about providing data to people. It's more about providing actionable data to where they know with what we're providing and how that can make a difference for their athletes and for their teams. And and do you see that information that you're providing, obviously um, technique, coaching techniques, like you said, tackling techniques, not using the head as, as as a weapon, but also just understanding about repetition and you're looking at succession impact in succession. Yeah. So one of the programs we work with here locally, um, last year they started using our system and And when they got their first report, like I mentioned, the first thing we highlight are the top five athletes who took uh, the most amount of crown of head impacts. Coach looks at the list and sees that all five of those athletes are freshman linemen. Mm -hmm. For that entire week, he worked with those linemen on particular drills, getting their heads up, getting their hands up, and removing the crown of head from contact. Then the next week, they got their following report, and they saw a 29% reduction of crown of head contact. So from the coach's perspective, he had that validation that what he was teaching was now being followed by the athletes. The athletic trainer's perspective, you know, she looked at it and could see that these athletes are now playing more safe. This is this is fantastic stuff. This is great information. Is I'm, I'm I'm asking, is it affordable? How do you deploy this? How would someone, if I'm a coach listening to this and I'm like, I want this next season, how do I do that? Yeah, it's all subscription based. We lease you the sensors, we lease you the the accessories, the tools, and everything that you need to really run and manage the system. And it's on a per athlete per year contract. So the more athletes and the larger the contract, uh, the lower the price and um, you know, it's as low as $99 per athlete per year. Okay. Part of the challenge with concussions is return to play. And when is that appropriate? You know, we, we want to make sure the athlete is ready to go back. So you're doing a baseline. You can retest them and, and help make that decision. So we don't handle that. Okay. Um, that would be trying to replace what athletic trainers are already doing right, today. Okay. And so what, what we try to be is an extension of an athletic trainer, an extension of a coaching staff. Uh, University of Washington is one of our customers, and they said it best. Athlete intelligence is like an extra set of eyes and ears on the field. So it's how can we empower staff members to drive decision-making through data that we provide them. Andrew, fantastic information, great stuff. Congratulations on getting involved. I mean, I want to see kids continue to participate in sports and not have to stop because of the concussion concerns because it's so important that kids are athletic and your organization is doing something about that. Good work. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You've been listening to Andrew Golden, Director of Marketing from Athlete Intelligence. The topic today, head impact monitoring, becoming more and more critical every day. Yeah, preventing head injuries and also um, understanding them and then intervening. Like he said, you can have an athlete that maybe is in a game in another field where maybe there's not an athletic trainer but there is an impact and that registers that the eight athletic trainer can check on that player is that that cool you can you can follow up fascinating stuff we're gonna be back with our final segment next on como